So things are changing pretty fast in the world of AI voices right now, which is great for us creators, especially those of us creating faceless YouTube channels. And after creating a video just six months ago on this subject, I'm finding myself having to create an update video for the best AI voice generators in 2023. Now, if you previously watched that video, then don't worry, all of the softwares mentioned inside are still inside my top five. But the top three have changed and in some pretty dramatic ways. So that's what we'll be covering today, the top three text-to-speech tools I recommend and how I personally go about using them. You can also rest easy knowing I've personally used all of these voice generation tools and on monetized channels without any issues, and I still currently use two of them to date. So starting at number three, we have Well Said Labs. With over 50 high quality AI voices inside, this was the tool that sold me on using AI voices in my YouTube videos. You can generate unlimited versions of voices, allowing you the freedom to test scripts and correct as you go. All of the voices inside show emotion and sound human-like. Though personally for my needs with my channels, there was only two men's voices that I actually liked and used inside. As with most text-to-speech softwares, the female voices tend to be a bit more realistic than the male for some reason. But there was one Scottish voice that was perfect for a personal development channel of mine. The issue I had with Well Said was the price. You needed to pay $100 per month to get access to the best voices. Which is fine if there's lots of voices you like and you're going to be generating lots of uploads each month. And at that price, if you're only uploading once per week, then you may as well pay for a real human, because it's pretty much going to be the same price. And as I was only using one voice and uploading one video per week, I decided to switch to another tool as it just simply wasn't worth it for me, especially not at $100 per month. On a quick side note, in case you were wondering, I will put links in the video description to all of the tools mentioned inside, along with any free trials or discounts I can get hold of for you. The next tool, and my second favorite right now, is Eleven Labs. Now I bet, assuming you've tried it, that you thought this was going to be my number one choice on the list. After all, this is the tool that everybody claims is the best sounding, and for the most part, I don't disagree. However, it's still in beta and is lacking features. Also, the voiceover sounds different each time you generate it, and there's no way to edit longer scripts together, so you will need another tool to do this, which isn't ideal when looking to keep costs down and to try and make sure that you can create scripts as quickly as possible. With that said, this is the tool that I actually like to use for creating bespoke voices. It is by far the best at generating voices either from yours or other people's voices you have the rights to use. The stock voices in Eleven Labs are also very limited. There is only one male voice that is any good for day-to-day -day videos. And because of this, I've literally started to hear it being used everywhere, with many faceless channels using it, especially on YouTube Shorts, which is definitely not ideal, especially for YouTube monetization, as we don't want to be using the same voice as everybody else, because YouTube might in future start to flag it as reused or repetitious. So I've now stopped using it for stock voices altogether, and just, as I said before, focus on bespoke voices. It also has limited editing functionality, meaning you'll have to export it to another tool, which slows down your workflow and adds additional costs. Let me show you exactly what I mean by this. Now, once you're inside, there's gonna be a number of options, and that's going to be generating a voice from your created voices or the stock voices that they have, which, as I said before, are quite limited, but we'll get into that in just a moment. You then have the voice lab, where you can create your own bespoke voices, which is really where I see Eleven Labs coming into its own. But you'll also see, perhaps, I don't know if you can see the top bar, but it's in beta. So Eleven Labs is openly stating that they're in beta, and they're still adding new features all of the time. So it does have its limitations and the main one for me is the stability of the voice. So yes, it can sound the most realistic out of any voices out there, but if there's a mistake and you want to then regenerate it, it can sound very different from the voiceover that you created just a moment before. And for me that that brings problems because you have to keep regenerating it sometimes to try and get back to the sort of style that you wanted. And if you break it up, the style and tone and emotion of the voices can be quite different. So there is limitations, but for most people when they actually hear it, they do think that this is the best. But you have to look at the broader scheme of things and it's why it's not my number one tool for voiceovers and for text-to-speech. It's because it's still just a little bit unstable and you can only actually creates so much text together. So it doesn't really have any editing functionality other than the settings here. So the voice settings I can change and I could basically add 
varying degrees of stability, which will either make it more emotional or more monotone, but it will obviously make it more stable and less stable. So this is where you can make some settings to try and make it so that it doesn't change as much. But I have found that really changing this, it can go very monotone or it, it just really doesn't affect the stability like it says it will. So you can try it out for yourself anyways. Again, I'll put links to this and all of the other tools in the video description. So once you come down, chances are you're going to start with some of the stock voices before creating your own, because you may have to go out and pay someone that's actually willing to let you use their voice. So perhaps you get a freelancer to do a recording for you, or you do your own recording voice, or you just get the rights to a different voice out there. But essentially, you can create your own voices, and I've created a number inside of here as well as my own and a few other people that I have the rights to. So I've got some bespoke voices created in here. But the pre-made ones, they're very limited. And if you can hear here, let's just hear them. If you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always gotten. So they're good. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. But of those sort of three to four male voices, those last two, they're not really the type of ones you're going to use in, a, say, a YouTube video. But this is the only one I've ever used, but now I hear it absolutely everywhere. Not what we have, but what we enjoy constitutes our abundance. So this voice works really well. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select that one. And then what I've done is obviously got my script that I've generated on the history of bubblegum inside ChatGPT for this example, and we'll just paste it here and then it generates it incredibly quickly. But what we'll also see is that you can only do up to 5,000 characters. And 5,000 characters, that's it. There's no way to edit those clips together. You'll just see all your clips under history, which is why I said there's also limitations in terms of the editing functionality, which is for an all-in-one tool just to do your voiceovers, it's not gonna be that useful. It means that you're only gonna be able to create about a five minute video from, from that, and then you're gonna have to edit different clips together. So you will have to use a different editing tool. And if you were, say, using tools like Pictory, you want to upload the finished voiceover so that you can then start editing inside. You don't want to have to upload multiple voiceovers or it's going to get messy. So you're going to have to edit these together. And as I said before, I do that in tools like Descript. So Descript is the best one for editing that together. Again, I'll put links in the video description. I've mentioned it in other training videos before, but that really is the best one. So once you're ready, you can go in and you can edit it here but understand that it's going to charge you each time you generate text. And that's the one thing I don't really like about Eleven Labs, because if it makes a mistake because it reads something wrong, such as numbers, or it reads something it's not quite right, or the tone changes, you have to keep regenerating it. And that is a bit like you've got credit, and that credit gets eaten up really quickly because it's basically on the number of characters that you've got. So although it seems cheaper using the pay-as-you-go strategy, it really isn't. I've actually found it to be fairly expensive. So this is, again, where it's a bit of a fallacy that it's going to be cheaper. So let's generate it and see what it sounds like. Welcome back to our channel, History Enthusiasts. Today, we have a fascinating topic to explore, the history of bubblegum. From its humble beginnings to its worldwide popularity, bubblegum has a unique story. So let's dive right in. Bubblegum, as we know it today, has a history that stretches back over a century. Its origins can be traced back to the late 19th century, when a few inventors began experimenting with... Okay, so I think that's enough for you to get the general idea. So you can see the quality. It's really, really good. Now, let's just remove this and I'll show you one of my bespoke voices so we can see potentially what it's like inside. So let's remove that because I don't want to keep using up all of my credit and we're not gonna to listen to it all anyway. So we'll just do a shorter piece here and then we'll go for one of my bespoke voices that I've created. So let's select this one and let's see what that one sounds like. So next time you enjoy a piece of bubble gum, remember the inventors and the fascinating history behind this chewy delight. From the failed attempts to the accidental breakthrough, bubble gum has come a long way and has left a lasting impression on our culture. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the history of bubblegum. If you did... So there you can see when you create your own bespoke voice, and some, some bespoke voices work out better than others, and they don't always have the emotional stability of the pre-made voices, but when you get a good one, it's, it's great because it kind of belongs to you and you can keep using it. So this is where, as you can see inside, I really think that Eleven Labs, for now, should just really be for, for using 
bespoke voices that you generate rather than falling into the trap of using the the stock ones that everybody else is actually using so if you're going to create a bespoke voice or use your own voice then this 11 labs is probably going to be the best thing for you but again you just need to remember that you're going to have to use a third party tool like Descript to edit everything together or another editing software if you're actually creating your videos in say Final Cut or something like that. And finally, my number one text-to-speech software for YouTube videos and the one that I recommend for most people is Jenny by Lovo. Now, a few months ago, Jenny didn't even make it into my top five as the voices just simply were not good enough. But they have since added about 50 premium stock voices with more coming each week and they are committing to creating many, many more in future. And I currently love at least seven of them, which for me is completely unheard of. You may have realized by now that I'm super picky when it comes to AI voices. It's also cheaper than the likes of Well Said Labs, and although still a fixed monthly subscription, it works out cheaper than Eleven Labs when you break down the cost of time. What I love about Jenny is that it has a built-in editing timeline, making it perfect as a one-stop shop for all your voiceover needs. So let's jump inside my account and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so here we are inside of Jenny, inside a pro account of Jenny, which means I get five hours each month of generation credits, which is more than enough for me to create a huge number of videos. So as I said before, Jenny is great. It's a really, really good tool, but it's only just come back on my radar because they've added so many new voices and they really do have some great options, but it's the full package that I love about Jenny. So yes, you could look at 11 labs and go, it probably sounds a tiny bit better, but the functionality and the fact you need additional tools and instability in the voices can make it a little bit problematic. And for people that just want to use good stock footage voices, don't want to worry about trying to get additional voices or recording their own voice and turning that into a bespoke voice, then you obviously it's going to be much easier for you just to work from template voices that are made for you. And it's going to give you more flexibility in terms of testing different voices to find the style that works best with the type of scripts that you're generating. So inside, when we create this, so if we go into new project here, you go voiceover, you can actually also generate videos inside here. Now I have tested this. It's not really a feature that I'm going to use that much as I like to use tools like Pictory and everything else, but you can use free stock footage and generate them in here. I just don't think it's geared up towards that as well as say like Pictory or other tools. So you want to try and create the best quality you can. So for me, not so much the videos, but if you do want a basic video editor to go alongside your voiceover, then this is an option. So we're just going to go voiceover. And then once inside, all we need to do is just select the, the name. So we want to select the type of person. And then we just want to test some of these voices. So let's just hear the sound of them. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to talk about Mr. Beast and his amazing crew. So I think that's a good English one. So we'll go with that and then I'll perhaps test a few more of these to show you some of the different voices inside. But let's just test a couple quickly. But I think we'll just go with the English one as soon as I'm English. I love you. Not like they told you love is. And I... So it does have a few strange character voices in here, which I really quite like, to be honest. Trust me, I know how money works. You want to make a lot of money, champ. You got to work your ass off. I quite like this one. There are several key components of a healthy work environment. One is physical safety, which includes... Okay, so let's select this one, just for the example. And then as I said, I'll demonstrate some of the girl voices and also some of the male voices in a moment. We just paste that in here. And what it does is it breaks it down into smaller paragraphs. Now, my only issue with this is that it took a little bit of time to basically generate all of them. So I'm going to come down, come down, come down and we're gonna get rid of Tim. And that's, so we've got the full script here. And as you can see, we've got the timeline at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is select all and generate. Okay, so that has now generated and we have it broken down into different sections. So we can go in and edit the text on these and just regenerate small sections, which I really like because it uses up less of your credit and Jenny actually works out less. You do pay monthly for a fixed amount of credit, but that works out a lot less than the likes of Levin Labs. And it's better because obviously you can just correct small sections rather than actually having to change the entire thing. And on a level, you can change the emphasis and you can also change the 
different. You can add some pauses and gaps and everything else. Now, some of these voices I'm using here are in beta, so maybe some of the features haven't been unlocked, but you can also move these things around and also change the speed and everything else. But I find the voices, as long as you pick, pick the right voice for your script, I find they work just fine. So what you can do is you can just come down to your timeline and then we can just select a point, go to the beginning. And what I like is you can actually add multiple, so you can add multiple voices in here and have different people speaking different scripts, which is a feature the likes of Eleven Labs and everything doesn't have. You would have to do that in a different editing software. So we can edit things on the timeline, move some of these sections to make more spaces and gaps and add different voiceovers in between. So let's play this. Welcome back to our channel, History Enthusiasts. Today, we have a fascinating topic to explore, the history of bubblegum. From its humble beginnings to its worldwide popularity, bubblegum has a unique story. So, let's dive right in. Bubblegum as we know it today has a history that stretches back over a century. Its origins okay. can be traced back. So, as you can see, probably the wrong voice for this type of script. It's a little bit slow. I could speed it up, but I would probably pick a bit more of an energetic voice to keep people engaged. That's a bit more of a storytelling voice. So if I was reading a book or telling a story or something relaxing, maybe that would be the voice. So now let's go into my files and see we've got another one here where I've created a lot of different examples of different voices. And you can see the timeline fully in action here down at the bottom. So let's, let's listen to that. Respect is a very serious matter, and many men would rather die than be constantly disrespected. At the same time, most men don't have to beg or ask for it. A good example of this is Habib, a foreign fighter who didn't speak much English, but had undeniable fighting skills. Now imagine the same man crushing all of his competitors and leading his team to the highest level. It is important to acknowledge your mistakes and apologize for them. However, if you aren't sorry, don't say that you are. This is a more feminine approach and can show a lack of confidence and ineffectiveness. It can also give others permission to treat you poorly or even abuse you. The ability to be honest, despite it <laughs> I going thought against throw your best a random interests, one in there as shows well. confidence. I want you to know that you may think you are displaying yourself as a nice and caring person, but you are actually sending the message that you lack confidence and are ineffectual. So you see some great voices there. Obviously the girl ones generally are always better in most of these systems, but there's a lot of good male options and I've only just selected a, a few of them here. But you have a lot of good baseline. Yes, maybe Eleven Labs is just that tiny bit better on some of their voices, but they just don't have as many stock voice options for you to choose from. So I think if you want lots of ready, if you want an all-in-one tool that's going to have great voices, a lot of stability, a lot of flexibility in bringing it together, being able to edit it and then save it and export it ready for use, then Jenny for me is definitely the best tool for you to use. So there you have it, my top three AI voice generators for 2023. Now, if you would like full step-by-step -step training on how I create faceless YouTube videos using just AI, then click the link in the video description for my free AI workshop. As always, any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and until next time.